Um, congratulations. Thank you very much. You. Um, I've got to ask, right, where did the idea for the show come from? Um, me and Neil, I think, we both had thought about it. We'd, 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 when we'd made previous uh, programmes, we talked about this is the one we really wanted to make because it was the thing that got us most excited because people care about their taste. Yeah. Are you always been, have you always been fascinated by people's taste as well? Yeah, ever since I was a kid, I've always wondered why people choose the things that they do, you know, when they put them in their houses. Because the most interesting thing is always the thing that people aren't aware of, what they're doing. So when you are filming the show, were you surprised by some of the things you found? Um, I think I was, del I was delighted by the kind of way that people could talk about what they ha you know, had in their houses and that everybody really does sort of uh, put their soul into what they choose, you know. And so it, it, people are quite brave, I think, to go on camera because it's, we're quite vulnerable when we're talking about something that perhaps people aren't used to talking about. Yeah, also it's quite nice to talk about your own thing, hoping that people like it, but knowing that someone might not like it makes you... Well, we went in very much, we agreed that we would not make a programme that sneered at people. That was our first probably thing that we thought, because I think, because pe it's people are vulnerable. Mm. I think that's why people embrace the programme, uh, that Grayson was so non-judgmental. Mm and that uh, when you know the contributors came and saw Grayson's incredible art they were moved by it moved by becoming part of an artwork not yeah. just a tv program so it's a show that celebrated everyone's differences as well and why did you choose the specific cities that you did uh Sunderland because it was quintessentially proud of its old working class traditions the shipbuilding and uh, the mining that it had there Tunbridge Wells because it's almost like a joke of being middle class and the Cotswolds, because we just happen to know there's a lot of posh people who live there. <laughs> Fair enough, then. Um, now, I've asked everyone this, and I'm going to ask you, BAFTA win, what does it mean to you? Oh, God, it's incredible. I mean, I didn't think I would sort of get so excited. Because you've won the Turner Prize already. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Ticking the off. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start writing my novel now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, this is as good as it gets in making. Mm. I mean, I do really love telly. You know, it's... it's it's how I got educated watching programmes like what we have made. So yeah. I think I feel incredibly honoured, yeah. No, it's wonderful. It's like the pinnacle of a TV career. It's fantastic to win a BAFTA. Really yeah. cool. I think a lot of people as well don't expect to feel no. the joy that they do when they hear their name called. Well, it's because well. you don't dare hope you've won. Mm -hmm. So it actually genuinely comes as a total surprise because you just do not let yourself hope that you have. I don't know. Every time we shoot a good sequence, Neil gets in the van and he said, Lady BAFTA is coming to the <laughs> 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 and, <he was> right. <laughs> and she has. <laughs> and, when, she has. and when you pictured winning this BAFTA, did you picture champagne afterwards? Oh, you bet. Yeah. <laughs> but can we finish the interview right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, congratulations. Thank enjoy you. your champagne. Enjoy your photography and everything that you're Thank about you. to have as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see you out there later. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.